Hi there, I'm Flag 6 Chief Meteorologist J.P. Dice. Weather update this afternoon, working on that forecast. Uh, we've got about uh, 45 minutes here before uh, Fox 6 News at 5, in case you're catching it right now. Of course, uh, you may be watching this a little later in the evening, so we'll kind of discuss uh, what's uh, going to happen here over the next 24 hours. And we'll also take you through the upcoming Labor Day weekend. Look at what's going on here on the visible satellite picture. If you watch the motion of the clouds, you can see we're still under the influence of that uh, northeasterly wind flow. So that's going to continue here as we head into the next several days. With high pressure in control, we are looking at a little bit of an inversion layer as that high pressure pushes down on the atmosphere. Air quality alert uh, for tomorrow, Jefferson and Shelby County, a code orange. So if you're one of the folks that has a little difficulty breathing at times, you might want to either do it early in the morning or go outside late in the evening because right in the middle of the day, that's when that air quality is going to be the worst. Hourly forecast. Temperatures during the overnight heading down into the upper 60s. No rain in the forecast. Let's take you forward through time here. And as we make our way through tomorrow morning, mid to upper 60s, a little cooler off to the east than as we get into tomorrow in the afternoon. Temperatures warming up into the lower 90s. So a sunny day on tap. Birmingham this afternoon feeling good, 89 degrees. Look at our dew point temperature at 58 per or 58 degrees. That's giving us a relative humidity of 38 percent. Incredibly good uh, weather in terms of a comfort factor. Hurricane Crystal Ball is a category one right now. Still no factor for the U.S. Uh, Atlantic coast. We're watching it. Max winds 80 miles per hour. It is a category one. Hurricane. Here's our college football preview. Looks like a pretty good chance of rain in Atlanta this weekend. Of course, that's only going to impact the tailgaters. The uh, game inside the dome there, 89 degrees uh, for folks that will be uh, out and about in the Atlanta area on Saturday. Auburn, about a 40% chance of scattered storms, mainly in the afternoon, high of 93. And at Legion Field, UAB Blazers, 90 degrees at kickoff. Rain chances coming in around 40%. Gulf Shores, look at the way that sky is right now. 87 degrees, mostly sunny. Winds uh, breezy at about 16 miles per hour. 40% chance of rain over the upcoming weekend if you happen to be going to the beach. Tomorrow's high, 95 for Tuscaloosa, 92 Birmingham, 91 in Anniston. So for tonight, mainly clear skies. Expect a light wind. Then for tomorrow, plenty of sunshine. High of 92, northeast winds at 5 to 10. Extended forecast. Rain chances are going to be taking a break for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We are expecting some showers and storms over the weekend, probably a little bit better chance of rain on Sunday than on Saturday, but still, even for the Labor Day weekend, it is not going to be a washout. Catch us on TV on Fox 6 News. Of course, weather updates on the line as well. We'll see you later.